Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'd like to say, Call Hala, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing his truth and all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sincere sisters who watch and believe, Shalom to you as well. Shalom to all of the new viewership, the new believers, new fruit coming into the faith. Uh, just back in the spirit of another lesson, and I was just uh, meditating on how the word woke, it pretty much gets misused and just tossed out by everybody known to man at this appointed time. And now, I guess in the political arena of things, the term woke is used to identify far leftists or liberals, you know, or what have you. But... Most of the people that are self-proclaimed woke, man, they're dead asleep because when brothers, uh, when we talk about work, the brothers of faith, we're talking about being awakened to the will of the Heavenly Father, which the, the way we learn the will of the Heavenly Father through his only begotten son, you know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, the way that we know the will of our power is through the Bible, man. And we know the scripture says in Amos 3 that the Most High, he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So we're really in the know. We're really the enlightened ones. So only the men of the Lord that have been given the gift of faith and this truth, those are the only people that really could be considered woke. Because everybody's not really woke. And it's sad how that term is just gets just tossed out there like that, man. But that's just the culture that we in right now. Now, sure, the scripture says in Daniel 12 that uh, knowledge shall increase through the Internet. People have access to more information than ever before. So I guess you could say people are on a higher level of intellect. But the things that they're getting knowledge in, it doesn't bring value, you know, and that's not to say that it's not a lot of good things a lot of good information that you can benefit your life. But the main source of knowledge that's going to lead to salvation is the knowledge of the scriptures, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Heavenly Father and His Son, the understanding of the prophecies and the things that's uh, basically going to spell out the, the judgment in the, in the future, the so-called future of your precious America, which we know prophetically is Babylon the Great. So that's the, the question I pose. Are the woke really woke? Those that really identify themselves, you know, social media, are they really woke? And the truth and the truthful answer is hell no, man. If you're not dealing with the, the lost, matter of fact, I'm going to get an impromptu scripture real quick. I was going to get into something else, but I'll just get something impromptu through the spirit. This is Isaiah, Isaiah 8 and 20. It says to the law and to the testimony. And this is all the laws and the testimony of Yahweh Shai. It tells you in Revelation 19 and 10 is the spirit of prophecy. It says to the law and to the testimony. All of these things are contained in the volume of the book, the Holy Bible, the Holy Scriptures. It says to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So if you're not speaking according to this word, if your premise of understanding and your moral compass is not guided by the word of the heavenly father. There's no light in you. So therefore, you really can't proclaim to be enlightened. You can't proclaim to be woke. And that's just point blank period, man. It's just point blank period. I'm going to go to Revelation. The book of Revelation. When you go into the word Revelation, it means to pull back the veil, to reveal and all things is being revealed through the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Most High, through his only begotten son, has put on the prophets, man. As we speak, things is continuing more and more to happen in the earth, man. The word prophesied means to say before, to speak before. As the prophets guided by the spirit of the Heavenly Father speak, things is happening, man. So really, we're the true people that, you know, should be considered woke, even though we don't go around, run around talking about we woke because I'm starting to really just despise that whole terminology at this point because we really know what it means to be woke. 
And of course, we were in a dead state before we awoken or before we were awakened to this truth. We thought we were so-called Negroes, black people. We were celebrating all of these pagan holidays and pagan customs, shaving our beards, eating all types of unlawful foods until we were truly awakened to this truth, to the true light, you know. But most of these people that's walking around the earth uh, calling themselves woke, especially you Israelites, two thirds of you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You're not woke, man. You're in a dead, you dead sleep, man. And the prophets on the scene sound an alarm, but a lot of our people, they're going to stay in that dead state. Uh, this is Revelation 11 and 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And when you when it's talking about dead bodies in this uh, verse, it's talking about those that are spiritually dead. People that don't know what the hell is going on, man. They believe everything that the mainstream media and news feeds them, all the propaganda, all the lies, all the misinformation, all the disinformation, but they don't have the truth. They can't come to true conclusions through the spirit, man. That's most of the people that are not of faith, which we know uh, pursuant to Ephesians, the second chapter, that faith is a gift. So most of the people, they're in a dead state of mind walking around. Especially in here in the Babylon, the great man. It says in their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city and America, Babylon, the great prophetically. America's a great city. That's why people call themselves American citizens. And we know that the, 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 the nation's capital over in uh, Washington, D.C. is known as a city state. So this is the great city where all nations come to. For a better life, for, you know, the fulfilled American dream. This is the big melting pot, that great city that the scriptures talk of. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. And we know what happened in, in ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. We know that the Lord pretty much burned that place because of all the sexual immorality and the lewdness and perversion that was going on. And it's the same thing. On a heightened level, on a on a way heightened exponential level today, you know, through technology, you know, and the whole hookup culture and, you know, people being able to change kind and they putting laws in the place that promote all of this madness, man, all of this lewdness and this perverseness. So this place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, which in ancient Egypt, the, the, the Lord's people, the children of Israel, they were in captivity under the Egyptians. And the modern day Egyptians, the modern day Pharaoh are the uh, elite ruling class that's in power right now, man, that control this society. You know, there's nothing new under the sun. It says we're also our Lord was crucified and our Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which we know in the Hebrew tongue, Yahweh Shah, he was crucified. He was totally crossed out in every way on this side, from his name to his image, to who he came to save what he truly came to embody, what he stood for. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, was totally crossed out on this side, man. But just going back to the main point, most of the people that walk around America, man, they're in a dead state of mind. They don't know what the hell was going on, man. They don't know. They don't have a clue as to what's going on, man. And that's why it's such a blessing that the Lord woke us up, man. Because without the understanding of the Heavenly Father through His Son, man, you're in a dead state of mind. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that real quick. This is uh, Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So those that are without the understanding of the Heavenly Father and what he wants for your life. As far as the will of the Heavenly Father is concerned, you're without understanding. And therefore, you shall remain in the congregation of the dead. I'll read it again. Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So it's a lot of dead people walking around. Even though they're physically you know, alive, their organs are, are, are functional. They, they're able to move and consume and go about. But 
They're spiritually dead. They're ignorant. The word ignorant means to not know. They don't know what, which way is up. They don't know which way to go. They don't know what's considered righteousness. They don't know what's right and what's wrong, man. You know? So most of these people are not woke. And there's a lot of people that be proclaiming to be woke that don't be knowing a damn thing, man. And I'll be hearing a lot of women talking about they woke too. Which, if you're an Israelite woman, the first thing you should know is if you have a husband and that man is a believer of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're supposed to be in subjection to your husband. But that's another topic for another day. But the point being made, most of these people, they're walking around in a dead state. In no way, fashion, or form can they be considered woke. If we're going by the true standard. Going back to Revelation, the third chapter. And the 18th verse, it says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Because when you're without this truth, you're in a naked state. We're clothed with this truth, the brothers that are awakened to this truth, the, the hopeful elect. And of course, the scriptures likens the elect of the nation of Israel, the brothers, the prophets that are set out to preach the word, we're likened as gold tried in the furnace or the fire of affliction, man. Because fire, that's that purifying agent that makes gold more pure, that makes it more precious as a metal. It says, the last part, and it says, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. So the brothers that can understand this truth, you know, the, the, the law, statutes, commandments, the prophecies, everything that's written in the volume of the book, you know, the Lord anointed our, our eyes with ourselves, spiritual ourselves. So now we can see, man, that's why we're visionaries through the spirit. We can already foresee the evil that's about to approach this place, man. For years, and it start, you know, with our apostles and our elders that have been preaching over 30, over 20 years. You know, we've been preaching about the, this economy collapsing, about Esau, Edom, the powers to be uh, making it mandatory for everyone to accept that you know what, that implantable device that it talks about in Revelation, the 13th chapter. We've been talking about uh, wars and rumors of wars like the scriptures talk about nation rising against nation, famines, pestilence, so on and so forth. And that's because the Lord has anointed our eyes with ourselves that we can see. We don't get emotional about certain things prophetically that we know is going to happen. That could even affect our own lives. That's going to affect our lives and our, and our situations, man. Because our, our eyes have been anointed that we may see. So we're truly woke, you know. Matter of fact, just continuing on with the precepts. This is uh, St. Matthew 13, and um, I'll start at 16. St. Matthew 13 and 16, it says, But blessed are your eyes, for they see. So the brothers of faith, the brothers that are preaching this word, in all diligence, sincerity, and faith on the highways and the byways, who we look foolish amongst this world, we're the true, woke, we're the true people that are actually woke. It says, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. So we got eyes that we can spiritually, we got spiritual eyes, basically, and spiritual ears. We can foresee what's about to happen to this place. And that's why we therefore and our behavior take heed. Brothers in the spirit to repent, offend less, having a fear of the heavenly father, the creator of all things. Because we can see the evil, man, that's about to approach this place. It says, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily, and that word verily means truthfully, for verily or truthfully, I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and not heard them. So even though the prophets that came before us, man, that were righteous and great men, of renown. They desired to see the things that the brothers 
at this appointed time see and the reason why more is being uh, more is being revealed to us that we can see is because we're in the last days like the elder Ariel always say we're in the last days of the last days so of course we're going to be exposed to more than the prophets of old and a lot and you know brothers a lot of us we're some of those same prophets coming back because there's a concept in the Bible called reincarnation, which that's another subject for another day. But if you're truly woke, you'll get the gist of that concept, man. No problem. Easy work. You know. So it's a blessing. Like I said, in Ephesians, the second chapter, I believe around the eighth verse, it says faith is a gift. This gift of faith to be truly awoke, man, this wasn't given to everybody, man. You know, and of course. Like King Solomon said, I believe in Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, uh, with great wisdom cometh uh, grief. So just because we've been awakened, man, you know, that's why brothers, you know, we're, we're of, a, of a serious countenance, you know, because it's, it's not good times coming to this place. Why everybody's in that spirit of, of mirth and, 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 and folly and, and, you know, and all of that madness, man, we're, we're brothers are in a more serious minded spirit because we know that we're in serious times. But I'll read one more and I'll, I'll end out the short lesson. Because anytime I hear a nigga or especially you Israelites talking about your woke, I'm just like, oh, man, you just got to let them have it at that point. Because the truth of the matter, most people that openly and, and are self-proclaimed woke people, they're, they're dead asleep, man. They don't know what the hell this was going on, man. In any fashion or form. Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time that now it is time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we be believed. So right now we're in a time of grace. You know, before the judgment, the Lord, he's a merciful power. He has his servants out giving the warning. We're sounding the alarm like, hey, man, the world as we know it, it's about to drastically change. If you're an Israelite that can receive this word and hey, you need to repent, you need to put off your old ways. You need to try to get as close as you can to the heavenly father through his son. It says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep because most of our people, they're in a dead sleep and they can't hear the alarm, man. You know, the alarm is just going off and our people, they're just in a damn stupor. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And the scriptures tells you in uh, Ecclesiastes 12, seek the creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not. So our salvation is closer than when we believe, man. You know, the, the day of the Lord is at hand. Things is happening in the spirit, man. This whole situation with Ye, Kanye West and just all of these different uh, uh, guys being uh, uh, counseled through council culture, Andrew Tate. Uh, Alex Jones, these are all just signs of, of what's to come, man, as far as this devil really trying to clamp down on this place and have just total control over the minds of the people, man, to where there's not going to be any other prevailing thought than the, than the status quo thought that the elites want, you know, to, to, to be the, the epicenter of, 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 of knowledge and in, in just a process of thought, if that makes sense. So we're just in that time right now. You know, it says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So right now it's time to cast off the works of darkness, all of this evil, all of this wickedness and put on the armor of light, man. Righteousness, man. Because the armor of light, that's how you're going to be able to see your way keenly, man. Because the scripture says in Isaiah 60, we're in a land of gross darkness. So. Through this light, we can see our way, man. That's just another indication of the brothers that's in the spirit preaching, man. We're the ones that's really woke because we see all the madness that's going on, man. And that's why we're openly confessing, you know. So with all being said, you know, I just want to end out on that. It's just annoying just to hear that term woke just gets loosely tossed out there by every Tom, Dick and Harry. But. We know what the deal is, man. Those that are truly woke, we know what the deal is. So we just thankful that the Most High truly woke us up. So 
With all being said, Lord willing and edified, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rokakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.